My name is Dezavi and welcome to Dezavi Productions. In this channel, I do music production tutorials using Pro Tools and Ableton, as well as review and demo music production equipment. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import files using Ableton and how to stop Ableton from warping your files before you get them imported. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we have our session and the first thing we need to do, and this is very important, we need to turn off a feature called Auto Warp Long Samples. So what this does is, as we're importing files, Ableton will begin to warp our audio to adjust it to the tempo of the session. So it will either speed up your track or it will slow it down to fit the tempo. So to turn it off, we're gonna go to the top left where it says Live, and we're gonna go to Preferences. And right here at the Record Warp Launch, at the right of it is Auto Warp Long Samples. So let's turn that off. And now we're ready to import some files. Let's start importing some files. To help you stay organized, it's a good idea to keep a dedicated file strictly for Ableton imports. Now what I've done in my external hard drive is, I've created a file called Ableton Import Files. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this file into Ableton here in Places under Categories and Collections. To do that, at the bottom of Places, you're gonna select Add a Folder. I'm gonna select my external hard drive and the file that I want. Ableton Import Files, open. Now as you can see under places, we now have access to it. And if we click on it, it shows us the other folders within that folder. So this is a good way for you to organize all your music. Now that we have access to the files, there are two ways that we can add them. The first way is dropping them into the session view, which is this one. And the second way is dropping them into the arrangement view, which is this one. So let's go ahead and work with the arrangement view first. So I'm gonna click on the little drop down arrow. And all you're gonna simply do is click and drag over. Now, if you want to add them all at one time, you can, and you're just gonna click and highlight them and drag them over. And as you can see, it's gonna try to squeeze them all into one track. To have them all go into their own tracks individually, hit Command and let go. Now they're all into their own individual tracks. Likewise, I'm gonna undo this and we're gonna go to Session View. So we're gonna go click and drag or we can click, highlight them all, and have them go all on the same track, or hit Command and have them all go into their own individual tracks. And that is how you import tracks into Ableton. Thank you for watching. If you found the video helpful, subscribing, liking, and commenting helps us reach more people who want to learn about music production. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.